We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore like we used to do. We don't laugh anymore. What was all? Of Can you imagine what life would be like without modern technologies? Smartphones and computers have made our life a lot easier. Nowadays, people can always be in touch with their friends and family by using the internet. Modern devices and gadgets have created a new landscape of socialization. There is a big variety of phone apps that allow people to keep in touch even if they are on different continents. This way of communication has become so popular that many people prefer texting to talking. This disturbing data makes us reflect on the future of interpersonal communication. Will humanity completely switch to messages as the main way of communication? Some people are convinced that black communication is gradually disappearing. So, we've decided to conduct a survey on people's attitude towards texting versus talking. Generally, we asked young people's opinion on their preferences in terms of communication with their peers, acquaintances and family. The question was whether they prefer up-to-date texting or just the old-fashioned talking. The result may surprise you. Despite the profound influence of social networks and increasing popularity of all kinds of online communication, the majority of students have stated that they are not avid texters and actually they much prefer live communication. More than half of our respondents have emphasized the importance of having direct human-to-human -human contact in their lives. Eye contact and body language are vitally important for many people. You can tell more just by looking at one's eyes or hearing the tone of one's voice that they say. In Russia, we often say, the eyes are the windows to the soul, which is absolutely true. A social network profile doesn't seem to show an inner state of being a person hidden behind the screen. Therefore, texting is appropriate only for a small talk. To have a deep and meaningful conversation, you cannot use text. There are non-verbal and emotional components of the message to read. It goes without saying that texting helps people to stay in touch in case they don't have a possibility to meet. All in all, communication has gradually changed over the past few years. It may seem that people aren't talking anymore like they used to. Anyway, we are still human beings and we need to feel loved and we need to belong to somebody. How can we use texts that lack emotional context for fulfilling this need? For this very reason, young people still prefer direct human interaction.